YouTube, I'm going to do a video on what I bought from Walmart in the fabric section. I've been in Walmart a few times and they really haven't had anything that I needed in the um, dollar section of the, because they always have a dollar section at my store. I have enough thin knit for draping muslins and you know whatever houseware whatever I want to do practice you know duh. I have enough of that so I've been looking to see if they had anything good and they really haven't had anything good lately but today they actually had a few things that I wanted this lace I am going to do a long gown I'm going to do a I think it's a cream color because I have I either ha have green, burgundy, light purple, and off white in that shiny um, material. I, can't, I don't know what it is. It's like a woven material, so it's no stretch to it. And I thought, you know, I was going to choose one of those. I haven't really chosen one, but yeah, since I have this, I'm going to do the uh, cream colored nightgown in this. Only got two yards of this, but it has a nice stretch to it. And I like the stretch and I, I really didn't want to spend any more money on um, getting material for my class because I got the silk lining, the silk organza underlining, the silk black for the dress. It, it just seems like I'm spending quite a bit on projects. So I really didn't want to spend on this project. This is also what I got. This is this is the material for thermal um, underwear. And I was thinking I could make some for my honey and I could also make some for my son and monogram it. I could get my embroidery machine out and actually use it. I'm trying to use more of that embroidery machine and I will um, use it more because it's kind of a waste of money if I don't use it. And what I love, I, I wore this, I've been wearing this because it's been cold. I went to class this morning and we were, and I got, she should have, well, let me not say that. I shouldn't have worn something cream color because we were using our carbon paper, our paper to trace out our pattern, our adjusted pattern on muslin. And that can be kind of, you know, so I got a little bit on my dress, which I'm hoping it'll come out. So, but anyway. This material is what I got. It's kind of thick and I think it might make a nice sweater coat. I've been thinking about getting a, but I, I made a sweater coat and this was before I fit like I fit now. And it looked like a robe. So therefore, it became a robe. So I'm thinking I could use this to test out the sweater coat. Now it's hard to find a pattern to me, a sweater coat pattern like this. I don't want one that comes over here or does this or does that. It's hard to find one. And this sweater coat has pockets, it's like this. This sweater coat has pockets here, just plain pockets. And it comes down a good, I don't it's a shame how I'm moving this. I, I do have a camera that I should be using for videos, but I don't. Can you see? It comes down right there, which is, to me, is a great length to come down for a sweater coat. So, even if that works out to be a muslin, that's fine. Because I want to make sure the shoulders, like the shoulders in this, because when the shoulders kind of go down, it looks like a robe. 
when I have when I have time, I'll I'll finish that. So that's what I got from Walmart. It was let me see, ten, fifteen, seventeen dollars for the fabric, which I thought was a good price. So okay, bye, bye guys.